for this traditional clash between two of Argentina's top teams. River Plate up near the top of the table at the moment. Boca Juniors a disappointing start to the season for them. And it's River Plate in the white shirt with the red sash getting the game underway. Boca Juniors in the blue and yellow strip and immediately a good break down that left-hand side by River Plate. And the first corner of the game is won by the home team. And River Plate absolutely dotted with internationals right from their goalkeeper Neri Pompidou through to Omar Palmar in attack. And he it is who'll take this corner. And curling it in towards that near post. And it's away first time by Abramovic. And a timely clearance for Boca under pressure straight away. Melgia. Not a good ball. And Alzamendi dashes across and well, he got one critical touch, but not sufficient. Now Rinaldi. And Boca too have got their share of internationals, but that's uh, not a good ball forward. And Pompido gets his first touch of the ball. A warm, sunny day, and many of the spectators having to shield their eyes as well. And uh, somewhat of a carnival atmosphere. You saw a balloon drifting across the pitch there. And a tremendous crowd noise as Da Silva picks it up for River Plate. Midway inside the Boca half. But, uh, that's an easy one for Harbinia. Now Fornes. Rinaldi. And a fine ball fired down that line. It might just be too long, but the idea was right from Rinaldi. Just too far for Comas. Throw here taken by Gordillo, one of the many internationals. When you run through some of the names, as we just see Pompidou handle that one quite efficiently. There are world famous names in the River Plate side Nelson Gutierrez, Uruguayan international fullback, Alzamendi, also a Uruguayan international, and of course Jorge de Silva, wearing number nine, who used to play for Atletico Madrid in Spain. And here is Alzamendi, but uh, there's a stoppage as Rinaldi went down. The familiar sight of the paper all around the River Plate Stadium here, and the crowd in their ticker tape confetti welcomes for the teams. And this is Rinaldi of the long flowing locks. A few old firecrackers. Buenos Aires wouldn't be the same without them. Nice uh, looking build up here and a good attempt to chip the goalkeeper, Pompidou, there. That wasn't a bad try by Comas. Saw the goalkeeper off his line, attempted the chip. Got it just a little bit too high, but what inventive thinking from Comas. He was fairly close. And Palma. Oh, good play, and Palmer brought down, and a penalty! What an electric start to the game! And referee Lusto had no doubt. Palmer's pace is always going to be a problem. He's one of the quickest players in world football, Omar Palmer, and despite the protestations here from Rinaldi, and despite what goalkeeper Gennaro might well be saying to the referee, he's going to have to face a penalty kick in the opening minutes of the game. And what a dramatic start. And it will be Palmar himself, I think, who's coming over now. A little bit of gamesmanship from Harabinia there, just moving the ball on the spot. Palmer wants the final touch. Now then, what a chance for River Plate. And he's like a cat on a hot tin roof, is Gennaro. Oh no! Palma fires it over the top. What a waste. And Palma, having won the penalty, now blows it. This is a quite awful shot. I think there's a suspicion that the goalkeeper moved. 
Well, Omar Palma cursing his luck, I have no doubt. And it's the Boca supporters who are deriding him. Just look at the goalkeeper there. And I wonder if that movement put Palma off. And something certainly did. And neither coach, I would have thought, a happy man at the moment. The one for his team conceding a penalty, the other for his team missing it. <laughs> and now the referee can afford uh, to smile and a little bit of a chat with Ronaldo, who complained bitterly about the awarding of the penalty. And here's Alzamendi. Good bright start, lovely cross from the Uruguayan, just drifted beyond Da Silva. It's not a good ball coming out of defence, but uh, a free kick had already been awarded. But a lovely cross in from Alze, Alzamendi. And I think uh, Mr Lusto is not at all happy with the ball. Perhaps Palmer complained that there was a bit too much air in it, and that's why he hoofed it over the crossbar. That one's more acceptable. But that's a bright old start to the game. And River Plate should be a goal up. Corizo. Abramovic. Well in there quickly was Airbaum. Corizo again. So far this season, Boca Juniors have only won four of their 14 games. River Plate already with six wins to their credit from 14. And that throw from one of those experienced defenders, Nelson Gutierrez. But here come Boca Juniors and a shooting chance. Well, they left themselves a little bit exposed there. And Coiso was able to stride forward and blast in that shot. It wasn't a good one, though. Da Silva now is wrong. A bit of a hesitant start from uh, River Plate down that left-hand side. And uh, coming inside is Comas. Good skill. Bobbing up on the opposite side uh, to the one he usually adopts. They're unable to get it away, and the drive this time is from Rinaldi. And there's a very welcome willingness for the Boca Junior players to shoot on sight here. He couldn't keep it down, but good try, Rinaldi. You can hear the crowd really singing already, but they're not singing the praises at the moment of Omar Palma, who missed that penalty. Alzamendi. Good ball through the middle, and he was looking again for Palma. Cut out by Kuchiyufa, actually. Another of the internationals on parade. Now another running chance for Comas. Checks, comes inside. Good skill, Comas, and again. Ole, he's all round for Comas. Not a good ball that time, though, from Villarreal. So Alzamendi, confident against his own man. Just kept in by Gordillo, and the chase again for Alzamendi. And it'll be a corner, their second for River Plate. But Alzamendi there, we saw in the last World Cup in Mexico how dangerous he can be, raiding through the middle. And Palma just has to settle now, having missed that penalty kick. One of the men he's looking for up there is Gutierrez. It's gone beyond him, though. Ruggieri. And he runs the ball out. Wow, the hoots of disapproval from the River Plate supporters. Some credit has to be given there to Rinaldi for chasing him back, though. Ten minutes gone, no goals. Well, 
Well, this is always one of the footballing occasions of the season in Buenos Aires. Huge crowd here for this one. And the, uh, the coach rather agitated. Nicely done. Good play. Palmer again looking again for Alzamendi through the middle. So dangerous and well cut out by Harabinia. Spotted the danger of Alzamendi. Fornes. Nice turn from Rinaldi. Brought down for his pains and he said something to the referee as well. While play continues. A quick word from Juan Carlos Lusto. Erbin. Well, that's a good challenge won by Rinaldi. Nothing wrong with that. And Comas is able to run at the defenders, which is just the sort of style he loves. Nice little flick. Almost came off for Boca. Rinaldi tries to work the position. And support from Cojizo and from Villarreal. That's her support cross. Pompidou will take those all day. And this time the free kick goes against Alzamendi for Arabinia. Well, it's been a quick and lively start. And many in the crowd still really buzzing from that missed penalty. And here is the man who missed it. Palma. Oh, a few legs diving in there. Ooh, that's a crunching tackle from Harabinia. He's come off worst. He doesn't look too amused, but he really did dive in a bit himself, did Harabinia there. And it was a full-blooded collision with Jorge de Silva. Harabinia stays down for the moment. Da Silva gets a little bit of a talking to. And Boca Juniors have found themselves a new physio. Arabinia obviously going to be okay. Away by Godillo. Oh, and the bounce really fooling Alzamendi. Boca certainly giving as good as they're getting in this game so far. Have to be taken again. Well, there was slight confusion there as to whether it was a free kick or a throw-in. Free kick now given. And I think Comas thought about the first time cross and then realised there'd be nobody there. He did get the ball over. And now he's got a corner. It's their first. And loping up to uh, help out. Well, the defenders, Kuchiufo and Abramovic. So, corner for Boca Juniors, near post. And it was as well there that uh, the centre-back, Ruggieri, got his head to that one. And Boca have their second corner. This one struck a little longer, and a good catch from Neri Pompidou. The World Cup goalkeeper from Argentina. And Gutierrez, the man who played against him, of course, uh, for Uruguay. What an awful pass that was. Uh, and for the second time in the game, Comas tried to catch Pompidou unawares. 15 minutes gone here in the River Plate Stadium. It's River Plate nil, Boca Juniors nil. 
And still the major talking point, the missed penalty by Omar Palma, who'd earned it himself, and then fluffed it. And Comus is proving quite a handful. He's roaming around all over the pitch, and there he is. And he's certainly perhaps the most influential player in the game so far. I don't think anybody could accuse the referee of being a homer because uh, Bocker have had their share of free kicks but unable to take advantage from that one it's in quickly again there Arabinia well, that's not a good ball from Ruggieri asking far too much of Erben That's also asking far too much of Comas. So River Plate coming forward once more with Gutierrez. Palma, who is very much the playmaker, likes to dictate the pace of the game as well as the course of it. But that time, Eban getting himself into a spot of bother, and now he's got to get back quickly as the cross is aimed in there. And it was Comas they were looking for. And I've noticed that Pompidou favours the quick kick down the middle, and at the moment the ball is just coming straight back from Boca. Let's see what he does this time. Oh, he's ambling forward with the ball in his hands. A few European referees might have looked searching with that. Palma. Going to halfway. Oh, and that was a, well, that was a very uh, tricky situation for Gennaro to get out of. And... Well, continental goalkeepers do tend to be a little bit dramatic at times. There must be an offside here. And I don't think he'll still allow the ball from De Silva to go into the net. Well, we saw how uh, Gennaro got himself out of a tricky situation. Nice little uh, dummy there by Abramovic, which fooled the opposition, takes the free kick himself. Forward from Villarreal. He's there again. Turned back by Foranez, and the two of these players are dictating things at the moment, but losing out this time. Some of the River Plate attacking players have been just a little too hasty. A few of their players seem rather keen to get rid of the ball at the moment. Now, Gutierrez, one of Uruguay's top defenders for a number of years now, but like all Uruguayans, Tends to move to another country to earn the sort of wages that he needs. Most of the Uruguayan national team now playing abroad, and that was a good attempt by Gordillo to get Elza Mendy through. Didn't quite come off. Nice play from Ruggieri. And surely Palma was being held back then. Well, Erban couldn't keep the ball in play. Uh, there was certainly a suspicion that Palma had been held back. In fact, the referee sensibly I think they're playing an advantage. So, Ruggieri. A nice little clip for Palma. Well uh, cut out, though, by Kuchufu. Now, 
Let's see what Thomas can do. He's proved quite dangerous so far, but uh, that's certainly the poorest ball he's played. Oh, Palmer having to wrestle his way past two defenders and did so well. And again, the goalkeeper off the line. Again, he uses his chest. Again, his colleagues have to help him out. So Gennaro proving himself a bit of a bizarre sort of a lad at the moment. And they could well be in trouble here. Oh, good interception for Chufo. This is Da Silva, though. Real plate just start to put uh, a few passes together. And Ronaldo leads the counter-attack. This time, he does find Comas. Confronted by Ruggieri. And Gutierrez as well. Still inside that penalty area, the ball's not away yet. A oh, skillful play from Nelson Gutierrez. Well, this is really good play from Gutierrez, and he's found his Uruguayan international colleague, Alzamendi. Alzamendi thinking of going it alone, though, and he might have done rather better to have slipped that ball to De Silva there, who was in an excellent position. Alzamendi disappointed with that. He knows what he should have done. River Plate nil, Boca Juniors nil. And the Boca Juniors coming forward again just outside that River Plate penalty area. Thomas, well, I think not for the first time, he was just testing Pompidou's reactions. Silver now. A rather thoughtful build up this time by River Plate. But there's a man out on that left hand side. That's Eban. And a good ball forward, too. And the clip across uh, wasn't too good. Easily cut out by Arabinia. This is Fornes. Arabinia's long and searching ball. An easy one for Eban to deal with. Have it back, says the goalkeeper, Pompidou. And it's been a lively start to the game. Both sides have had their chances. Notably River Plate with that penalty miss. But in many ways, Boca have been just as impressive on attack. And here is the most impressive striker of all so far. And look how easily... He's beaten his man again, uh, Comas, and won another corner for Boca Juniors. Good start for the visitors. And again, it looks as though it's going to be curled left-footed by Comas, probably towards the near post, uh, looking for the little flick on. something all teams work on very hard in training and there it is and it's away first time put behind by Airban By Gordillo, who's got it back, rolls it in field. Interception again, though. And so different the stadiums, the River Plate's vastness here has been seen worldwide. Of course, the World Cup final in 1978 staged on this ground between Argentina and Holland. 
Uh, Boca Juniors' own stadium is, well, it's almost like uh, the old Coliseum, steeply banked. And visiting teams really do feel intimidated as though they're in a lion's den when they go to Boca's stadium. Surrounded by a moat and the uh, usual wire fencing, but here at River Plate, it's uh, a colossal place, full of atmosphere today for this match. And River Plate themselves on the attack. Alzamendi clattered from behind by Arabinia. Gutierrez. Often the first goal can be quite critical in these matches, so Boca so relieved that they didn't uh, lose that one early on. And De Silva's turn, not productive this time, but it's won back by Gordillo, and again Alzamendi, as he loves to do, dashing through the middle. Well, the corner kick given away, no, free kick given for Alzamendi's push in the back. Uh, Sterling challenge from Corti and Palma chasing back to show that he does as much work in defence as he does in attack now Erban keeping it coming forward now is Pedro Troglio Few free kicks in the early stages of the game, evenly distributed. And that was Puchufo rolling it forward. And a nice bit of skill once more by Gutierrez. There are two Gutierrez on the pitch, the right back for River Plate, Nelson Gutierrez, and this man here who wears seven for Boca Juniors. Still the game needing a goal perhaps, but uh, maybe we'll get one here. As Fornes came forward and it was a good break by him, he's got a good speed. Ronaldo's gone over to help out. Clip forward with the outside of the boot by Villarreal. And strong defending by Americo Gallego. Played by Ruggeri. The crowd just gone a little quieter for a moment. The whistling, the drumming, stopping, just momentarily. <laughs> <laughs> they need a rest every now and again, just as Palma needs a rest now. Hack down, and you'll see that happen to Palma quite a few times. The referee, I think, thought of reaching for a yellow card and then decided to be benevolent. Nelson Gutierrez. One of his better contributions, but he's uh, made a good start to the game. And there he is again, timely intervention by Gutierrez. Palma nicks it forward, taken up by Da Silva. Da Silva gets it back as well from Corti and across the middle. And uh, Da Silva complaining a little bit. Well, perhaps one penalty is enough in the first half. And the break is led by Gutierrez. And surely not got the strength there to get past uh, Ruggeri. He's a really stern referee, is this one, when he wants to be. And he's going to have words here with uh, little Gutierrez, the number seven from Boca Juniors, and Americo Gallego from River Plate. Good ball delivered through the middle there to Comas. Arabinia unable to keep that one in play, but 
He did his prime job, and that was getting there first before Elsa Mendy. River Plate nil, Boca Juniors nil. But I think both sides have shown enough so far to give us a promise of goals. And now Gordillo. And it's a long and a hopeful cross, and Gennaro capable. Good pair of hands. Perhaps not as well known as Neri Pumpidou, the River Plate goalkeeper. And that's a useful place to pick the ball up. Ronaldo did well. And so did Gordillo here. Palmer having to come all the way back and then losing out. And now Comas. Ornez. Out to the far side and to Abramovic. Back in field now. Corizzo's ball kicked out. And this man here, Rinaldi, is uh, quite an explosive shooter. He's tried on a couple of occasions to chip Pompidou so far. And inside the penalty area, and oh dear, Thomas was onside and then couldn't, when he most wanted to, control the pass. But he'd actually sprung the offside trap, and that should act as a warning to River Plate. Gutierrez. Challenged by his namesake. No relation. No got a deal. And again, River Plate looking for Palma here to provide some sort of inspirational drive from midfield. He's won the free kick, he's taken it, he's got it back. Eban, oh no. And he was easily dispossessed there, Eban pushed the ball much too far in front of himself. Now Comas. It's lovely to see the way so many of these players are able to use the outside of the boot High quality passing. Alzamendi now. Seems to have the ball glued to his toe. And a uh, body check, surely, by Gordillo on Fornes. He limps away ruefully, but has done his job, and the free kick for Boca. Exactly halfway inside the River Plate half. And Boca have certainly not come here to be intimidated. There's Harabinia. Just looks for a blue shirt inside that penalty area. There aren't many there, and it's a white shirt that gets it away. Well, I think that was uh, slightly fortuitous, maybe. Oh, but Palma's good running there has opened up an opportunity for Alzamendi here. And good defensive play as well. Arabinia getting back, complaining that there should have been an offside flag against Alzamendi. It didn't matter in the end because Arabinia's pace got him back there to cut out the sting in the attack. Although Palma will take a corner kick for River Plate. This is interesting, he's going to take it right-footed this time, so presumably he's aiming for someone like Gutierrez up there. Yes, he was. And the header narrowly off the mark. Well, as soon as Palmer teed that one up, you suspected it was for one of the big defenders. In fact, it was Alzamendi in the end. As they say in Argentina, it's still 0-0 between River Plate and Boca Juniors. And River Plate coming forward again, and getting a lot of people up inside that Boca half. But once more, the Boca Juniors midfield winning the day, winning the battle anyway on that occasion. 
here once more Fornes he's good on the ball gives it to Gutierrez no free kick Ronaldo made it look spectacular <laughs> and a, a smile of recognition from Ronaldo. now good position created by Comas maybe overdoing it and surely not from that uh, sort of distance and angle well that was certainly asking a lot it would have been a spectacular goal if he'd squeezed that one home Palmar seen a lot of the ball Herban there, that's the second time he's failed to control the pass. And, uh, the crowd will start to give him the bird if he keeps doing that. Nicely played inside to Rinaldi. And Herban making up for his mistake with the interception. Well, Ronaldo's got plenty to say for himself today. And he'll be very happy with the decision of the referee, who gave him a free kick for some rather mysterious offence, I must say, there. Gutierrez is up there in the middle, but he's a small fella, although it came to him. Knocked away first time by Ruggieri. Elzamendi will chase this. Arabinia kept calm. And Cucciufo read that one beautifully. And Fornes. Who again shows he's very calm on the ball. There's a nice bit of interplay there from Boca Juniors. Cut out in the end by Gallego. Now Troglio, over halfway, plays the ball forward for De Silva, who's got it back to him. And no free kick, though no, Troglio wanted one. Oof, a slight uh, two-footed challenge by Ruggieri. Doesn't seem to worry, though. Had the desired effect, that's for sure. Palma. Got a couple of options here. One of them is to use her band. And her band once more dallied a little too long there. And the coach is letting him know as well. Oh, that's a good throw though. And although Malja got back, there were warning signs there for Boca Juniors. Plate Choral Society is in very good voice today. But they've not had a goal yet to sing about. Boca Juniors holding River Plate here. The game is still goalless. Certainly not without incident though, and it's Boca's Comas who's brought down this time. No award. So far, the two defences have coped admirably, really. On the one side, you've had Arabinha and Cucciofo snuffing out the danger of Da Silva and Palma. And on the other, apart from the talent of Comas, I think uh, Ruggieri, Gallego and Gutierrez have coped very admirably for River Plate. So that's why it's still nil-nil. And nice play. That was well done. Inside on the, the return ball from Villarreal. Far too ambitious to reach Gutierrez. Extremely warm in the stadium, as you can tell, which is why the pace occasionally slackens. 
then just as quickly they'll have a darting little raid either side to try and take advantage Herban he's giving it away that's the third time he's done that given Comas the running opportunity cross again cut out once more by Gutierrez Raya forward for Fornes and Rinaldi's pass this time is a good one for Arabinia it's not a bad cross either chance there but uh, no real power in Rinaldi's header it's a difficult angle for him and the more competitive of the two there was Tanto Corti and River Plate have got a free kick because Alzamend is down on his knees. They'll certainly be looking to him for a goal today. Gutierrez. Back inside. And, uh, no control that time from Palma. And uh, as a result, Comas on the break. Has got them in a bit of trouble, and he makes that look a bit dramatic. Gallego stood in front of him. Referee whips across there. Coach yet again inevitably off the bench. Well, I think he's done more running about than some of the players. But Gallego's offence is punished, and the free kick given to Booker Juniors. We've had a good first half, despite giving away a penalty! And Bucket Junior has scored! Reynald is the man! And that's brought the coach to his feet again, all the substitutes are there. And the River Plate Stadium, a cacophony of noise. Reynald is header too strong for Pumpidoo. Well, we warned earlier that he can score goals, and that one really did come out of the blue. Watch now as the free kick is taken quickly. Well, Comas floats it in. In goes Rinaldi bravely. 1-0 to Boca Juniors. And I think on the balance of play, it's a goal that Boca Juniors deserve. They've recovered well from that early penalty giveaway. Which they were lucky to survive, and that's how well they've come back. There's the scoreline. Booker Juniors, a goal to the good. Just before half-time as well. Marvellous moment for them to score. Well, I can guarantee we've got a game on our hands now because River Plate will have to throw everything at Boca in the second half. There's not long in this half remaining. Cariso now. And that will have lifted the Boca players. Ooh, and one of them, Abramovich, went charging in now. And... Oh, uh, Alzamendi... No good. Off the target. The referee said he was offside anyway. And, uh, I'm not quite sure if he was right. Was he being played onside? Well, that was fractional. As it happens, Elza Mendy missed the mark anyway. And the referee knows, just as well as those players know, that there's not long in the first half to go. Tremendous atmosphere now with Rinaldi's goal separating the two teams. And they've been quicker to the ball on many occasions of Boca Juniors. And here they come again with Comas. Infield the goal scorer, the hero, Rinaldi, rolls it into the path of Fornes. And that's going to be a corner. 
It's been an outstandingly good first half for Boca Juniors, and they won't. Have, or will they have time to take the corner? Yes, they will. I thought for a moment the referee was going to signal half time. And he's certainly keen for Comas to get on with the game. So, Booker Juniors, one up. And with a corner. And River Plate, well, they'll go back uh, to some harsh words, I would imagine, from their coach. As Pompidou makes another catch. And again, runs out with the ball in his hands. See again here how Comas loves to test him out. Good catch. Elza Mendy. Only just working that ball through to Ruggieri. That's well done. Well played for Nez. Gutierrez through to Villarreal, not this time. Well, it's amazing how that goal has really lifted the game again. There seems to be renewed heart and effort, certainly from all the players in the blue and yellow of Boca. Oh, well played again. Now Gutierrez blocked out of it this time by Nelson Gutierrez, but... So much to be admired in the Boca approach play. I think they'll be content now to hold this one goal advantage to half time, especially as Palma is away. And uh, was he knocked over? Yes, he was, according to the referee. Fornes, the offender. And get back there, says the coach. Gordillo's cross. No trouble though this time. And Darabinia wanting to take all the time in the world. Alzamendi wants the ball off him. Corner's given. So some sense of urgency now in everything that River Plate do. Darabinia has to move back. 10 yards and Alzamendi places the corner again it's out looking for one of the big men but the header this time wasn't kept down and Alzamendi knows it's almost the interval and it, uh, it wasn't a bad try but the referee has raised his arm the ball in his hands away go the players then to the sanctuary of the dressing room and the scoreline here in the River Plate Stadium at half-time, River Plate nil, Boca Juniors one. Join us again for the second half. And welcome back to the River Plate Stadium. A reminder of the half-time score, River Plate nil, Boca Juniors one. And I think we're in for quite adventurous second half. River Plate simply have to come out and attack as referee Lusteau signifies the game to get underway again. And Bocker, of course, now playing from left to right with substitution on the River Plate side. Gallego has gone off, Moresi is on. And it'll be interesting to see whether River Plate can change things round a little bit they concentrated mostly in the first half trying to get Alzamendi through the middle and it didn't uh, work out too well he didn't profit on any occasion Bocca's defence was very good and of course the one critical moment apart from the goal in the first half the penalty miss after just four minutes by this man Omar Palma now Toglio not much room for him I wouldn't have thought out there but he's got great pace Toglio tremendous speed that time now rolling it back for the substitute
Gutierrez has had a superb first half, and at the start of the second half, he's again showing his skill, his paces, but good tackle. Well played by Villarreal. Gutierrez again showing his ambition in getting forward into that position. And Alzamendi picking it up, uh, and then he didn't really quite seem to believe in himself, but he's still there, still in possession. Loses it now, though, and the goal scorer, Rinaldi. What a marvellous moment it must have been for him, as he wins a free kick. For Rinaldi to have given Boca the lead. Well, I suppose it's something all players uh, dream about here in the River Plate Stadium. The ball knocked forward, and Pompidou... Having to be very alert then, with Fornes coming forward. The player was down on the ground. Rinaldi took it quickly, and it really did catch them unawares. And once more, Boca Juniors calling the tune a little at the moment, with Gutierrez here. At that time, in quickly, was Ruggieri. The player absolutely prostrate there. Looks as though he's uh, never going to get up again, but uh, I imagine he will do. And trainers anxiously trying to get out onto the pitch. Now referee Lusto having to stop and have words with Troglio as he goes over to see what has happened. And there's the goalkeeper, Gennaro. And it all happened out of your picture. And there'll be another stoppage here. He's obviously a little bit dazed, is uh, Meljar. See if we can catch something here. Being chased by Da Silva. Now, was there an elbow there? Well, looks as though there might have been. And the inevitable pair of positions on, and Da Silva does get a, the second talking to of the afternoon from the referee. And for the moment, Malja is going to leave the pitch for further treatment. Now, whether he stays off or comes back remains to be seen. But De Silva obviously did make contact. And we now have that rarity, the bounce-up. And Boca have been strong in everything they've done so far, but for the moment they're down to ten men, but they are on the attack. And a chance for Comas to put in a good cross. Tries to cut inside Gordillo, does so twice. Comas just outside the penalty area. Loses it, wins it back. <laughs> oh, Comas has been a very tricky performer today. Uh, Melgia anxious to come back on his team attack once more and they're certainly posing problems for the River Plate defence here generally through this man Comas held off by Gutierrez that time oh, Gennaro loves to come off his uh, line to help out in attacks almost as he did then Good play from Boca again, but uh, that one drilled straight into Ruggieri. Palma's got things moving. And the free kick awarded to the substitute, Morisi. Troglio. He really caught that one. And uh, I think it was unintentional from Melja, who's just had a spell off the pitch himself. It 
So Palmar must be rather keen here, number 10, to conjure up a goal for his side, having missed a penalty kick in the fourth minute. Could have a shot himself, Palmar. Clips it forward, and the defender got it away with the goalkeeper obviously not communicating, and the break is on with Rinaldi, the goal scorer. Now Comas, back for Rinaldi. Good chance here, Rinaldi. It's 2-0. Sensations here at River Plate. Rinaldi milks the applause. 2-0, the hug from the coach. I don't think they can believe it. And River Plate are caught absolutely square. A slightly fortunate ricochet of Pumpkin's leg. The celebrations all belong to Rinaldi. Well, what a quite extraordinary start to the second half. It was Rinaldi who made the initial break. Comas cut the ball inside and it was perfectly placed for Rinaldi. And the ball was perfectly placed too. 2-0 it is to Boca Juniors, a scoreline that will reverberate around Argentina. Well, a few people, knowing the league positions of the two clubs, would have forecast this before the start of the game. But with 52 minutes gone, Boca Juniors hold a two-goal lead. And Rinaldi has been the striker on both occasions. Well, he must feel like a million dollars. Rather unfortunate ricochet off the referee. And River Plate in front of their own fans really do need to get back into this one quickly now. And the football's all coming from Boca. They take their free kick quickly. Took it too quickly for the liking of the referee. in the background are from Boca Juniors fourth from bottom of the Argentine first division and they're playing River Plate who are in the top half dozen and it's the underdogs who are leading 2-0 here is substitute Morese for River Plate well, that's calm as you like Well, the adrenaline will be really pumping through the veins now of those Boca players. And they do keep winning the 50-50 challenges. There's another one. Aban inside to Ruggieri. Trying to find Da Silva here, and Da Silva's control under uh, some pressure let him down. Well, the atmosphere has been quite electric all afternoon, and it's certainly that now. So an upset really on the cards. Boca only really too happy to slow things down as Villarreal did then. Oh, wonderful tackle by Arabinha. Nelson Gutierrez here certainly doesn't deserve to be on the losing side at the moment. Well, if he can't see much, I can tell him his team are winning 2-0. The 
they're having to defend now. There's Erban. We'll try and go down the outside. Now coming in field and winning a free kick. Off Abramovic. Some anxious words being exchanged down on the river plate. Substitutes bench as Palma floats that one across. And well, it's hacked away. Bocker won't mind how they get the ball away, just so long as they do. Gordillo. And the little clip in field, looking for Da Silva, I think, although it was... Uh, it was the header in the end from Ruggieri and he got so far underneath it there was never any danger. And all the famous old Bocca songs are coming out now on the terraces. Probably seen as the victory of the season if they can accomplish it. Palma, so much expected of him. Gordillo, and a lot expected of that man, Alzamendi. He's got it back. And uh, there's the cross, away again. And Bocker, really, he's standing up well to this sort of pressure. And they'll stand up to that, well, for a long, long time. Urban getting the bird, and he's not really had a very good game, Urban. River Plate, nil. Bocker Juniors, two. But uh, River Plate here with Alzamendi. Oh, and a bit of a slip there in defence. So the substitute just nicking the ball back for Corti. And still chances here for River Plate inside the penalty area and a goal! De Silva! Jorge De Silva's header brings River Plate back into the game. Well, a word of congratulations, I think, from the referee of all people. And Da Silva's header, leaving Gennaro absolutely stranded. It couldn't have come at a better time for River Plate. Two down, they had to do something quickly. The chance came here. Gordillo working well inside the penalty area. Da Silva finishing it in style. And all of a sudden, it's the River Plate fans whose turn it is to sing. They're coming forward again, and what a match we've got on our hands now. Alzamendi for River Plate. Oh, and a disappointing cross from him, but the scoreline has changed. 2-1 to Boca Juniors, and I think we've got an exciting last half hour here. Quickly, the fortunes can change. Boca Juniors seem to be soaking up all the River Plate pressure. But that goal from Hoggy de Silva will really test them now. They still lead. And de Silva has gone a long way offside. Well, you wouldn't think his team were leading 2-1, and uh, Da Silva, who's had all sorts of chats with the referee, has been booked. Must have been something he said, I think. Well, this could really turn out to be one of the matches of the season now. 
The away team going into a two-goal lead, much to the astonishment of most people. River Plate now coming back. Palma. Nicely played out there. Now Goodio, who figured prominently in the goal and trying to work De Silva through once more. And River Plate seemed to have got a bit of their composure back. But there'll be a free kick against Ruggieri. Well, Jorge Silva has scored some important goals for River Plate in his time, as well as Atletico Madrid. And that was certainly a very important goal. Troglio. Arabini was in quickly that time, but it's still Boca who are having to defend stoutly now. The substitute once more, and chances here again. Alzamendi, the cross coming in, the goalkeeper stranded. It's 2 2. I don't believe it. Four minutes ago, River Plate were two down in their own stadium to Boca Juniors. The coaches punching the air tells it all. Alzamendi's cross, the header is from Tanto Corti. It's 2 2. And it was almost a carbon copy. His turn to celebrate. Two crosses, two headers, 2 2. And Alzamendi takes the credit for a lovely looping cross. Torti places it wide of Gennaro. Well, that scoreline was barely unthinkable four minutes ago. He can't believe it, I'm sure. All of a sudden, a dream is slipping through the fingers. Almost like sand. And Palma. Well, he, in the end, conceded the free kick. Well, the prediction was uh, of a mighty clash between these two sides, but I think it could even be mightier than anybody expected. And it's really now going to be a test of nerve for both clubs. Listen to that atmosphere. Well, this is one of those derby matches that really is living up to expectations as Troglio is really brought heavily down by Fornes. Sees the funny side of it. So does Rinaldi. Well, his two goals that should have made him a real hero tonight. But all of a sudden, his team is on the wrong end of things. Here come River Plate again. They're not going to get a third, surely not so quickly. a cracking match now and it's really been turned on its head there aren't many noisier sets of fans anywhere in the world than the Argentine fans and especially when your team has looked dare I say dead and buried and then come all the way back and now Boca Juniors back in with a chance oh so close for Gutierrez 
Well, you can't take your eyes off this one, not for a second. Gutierrez did so well to spring the offside trap there. He got inside Ruggiero and he beat Pompidou. Unfortunately for him, he also just beat the upright. It's not a very impressive overhead kick from Trombio at this stage. Corti, the goal scorer, has gone down. And he really does look to have hurt himself there. Corti. So the man whose goal has brought his team back level pegging is off the pitch. And the man whose two goals gave Boca their lead complains and wins no sympathy. Just look at the pace of the game. Plate two, Boca Juniors two. Alzamendi for River Plate. Giving it to Moresi. Getting it back and losing it. And also conceding a free kick. Rinaldi. And Godillo read that one right. Gutierrez doesn't see to want Pompido to have the ball and I think Borrelli is going to come on instead of Corti whilst the ball is intercepted by Palma who sets off sprinting through the middle the pass to De Silva the goalkeeper makes the save this time Gennaro has just been beaten twice but he wasn't to be beaten then Palma made the break Crossing the halfway line, he spotted Da Silva on his left. And the offside flag was raised. Again, it was marginal, and both sides playing a dangerous game at the moment. Well, that's the ankle that's obviously hurting Corti. So 13 Borelli is in fact replacing Tanto Corti only a few minutes after he had scored a goal. How is he? Well, he wants to uh, hobble on for a moment or two longer, maybe. Thomas. This time Pompidou very quickly. And he set his team going again with Da Silva, whose goal really brought his team back into the match. Oof, that's an extraordinary back pass. It uh, certainly came off Villarreal. Da Silva here wriggling away from the opposition. Put the ball really into no man's land. It, it was scooped over his own crossbar. And still River Plate trying to get Borelli on. Thomas so slipped. Pass from Erman and Maresi. That's uh, coolly done by Cucciufo. Now, 
Torinsu. There's been some really good passing movement in the game. But unlike uh, some football that you see nowadays, there's also been some very fine finishing as well allied to it. Oh, what a mistake by the fullback and a shooting opportunity. Spurned really by Rinaldi. No wonder he holds his head in his hands. He could have had a hat trick. And it was poor defending here that gave him that chance, really. Gordillo missed it. Instead of shooting, he turned it back inside. The chance was lost. And now Pompidou makes another save. would be a brave man who would back against either of these sides now at 2-2 interception this time by Arabinha and the ball knocked forward as well by Comas too far Zemendi, whose cross created the second goal, that's a good challenge back by Arabinha. And now Cortes Agni can end it. The number eight raised, and the man who got the equaliser hobbles off to be replaced by Borelli. So River Plate have used both their substitutes. Boca they still use two. And this time, Comas has come deep into the centre-forward position to pick things up for Boca. Oh, this man has been truly outstanding for the referee doesn't agree on this occasion. That's a free kick to be taken. But uh, I don't think Gutierrez can believe it, actually. He was in so well. And I think the problem was that uh, Corti, who was just being replaced, had not actually left the field. And also that two of the Boca Junior substitutes there were warming up too close to the pitch for the liking of referee Lusto. Palmer loses out. River Plate have it back. Well, I think there was a handball in the middle of all that, and Palmer has gone down now. Troglio, bowled over, right on the touchline, the ball went dead, the referee said there was no offence, goal kick. And midway through this second half in the River Plate Stadium, the home team are being held 2-2 by Boca Juniors in a truly entertaining game. And perhaps surprisingly, the man who's got two goals and is being shown the yellow card is also coming off. Well, maybe it's to save him from getting a red card later. Who knows? He's certainly got a terrific jump for his side, Rinaldi. Two goals for him, one in each half. And Stapuzza replaces Rinaldi. I can only think that uh, Rinaldi had got some sort of an injury or else they were frightened of him getting sent off. Alzamendi rolling the ball back for Gutierrez. The two Uruguayans in harness again and inside the penalty area, Alzamendi! 
What a chance. It's the sort he takes so regularly. Gutierrez knows him so well. It was a lovely little one-two that he played with Maresi. He got inside the area, beat the keeper just the wrong side. Well, that was almost identical to the list by Gutierrez at the other end. I'm sure many people will remember Alzamendi's goal for Uruguay in the World Cup in the very first minute against West Germany two years ago. And it was just from that sort of situation that he scored, and it's again River Plate coming forward. They've got renewed hope now. Well, Toglio, surely that's going to be too long. wrong with that tackle Gutierrez and Boca is still in this game they seem to have got over the shock of conceding those two goals in four minutes and Comas here has shown excellent skill throughout the afternoon not that time though Palma picked it up but uh, the whistle had already gone anyway It's going to be a free kick for Boca Juniors. Well, referee Lusto has been very strong. He's booked a couple of players, Da Silva and Rinaldi. Both goal scorers, incidentally, as well. And there's the cross, and it just eluded... Foreigners coming in. Pompidou bowling it out. This is Palmer, who's becoming increasingly influential in the game. They do expect so much of him. And he's up there again in the middle, hoping for a cross, maybe. Alzamendi. Rule offside, there's the red flag that tells you so. I don't suppose the crowd ever believe anybody's offside, depending on which team they support, but I think he was there. This is El Real. And there Gutierrez. Quite smart thinking, really, by the defender, Ruggieri. Good little spell for Boca, this. And the substitute. Stafutza. These players are so confident on the ball. Not frightened to take on opponents. They seem to love to have possession. They come again. It's a blue tidal wave at the moment. And it'll come back into the River Plate half once more. Through Corizzo. Excellent movement off the ball by both sides. Comas here drills it over to that far side. And a shot, and uh, well, well worth a try, but the crowd didn't seem to appreciate the effort too much. Turning back inside and uh, trying to find the target from that angle was never going to be easy. Well, 
played by Arvinia. And a good ball as well. Excellent pass from Arvinia. And uh, better than that one, which is easily picked out by Gutierrez. Troglio. Two, two it is between River Plate and Boca Juniors. A quite riveting game. But that not one of the better passes, and it's given River Plate the opportunity to keep the pressure exerted on Boca's defence. And they'll be looking for Alza Mendy up there. He's always the most patent source of danger. On the other hand, River Plate having been two goals in arrears, know just how strong the opposition is. Maresi, one of the two substitutes already on. Da Silva. Nice ball too. And Palma. To work it onto his right leg it was denied by Arabinia. Some really thoughtful and intelligent football going on out there at the moment. And here's some more from Boca. I think he's got a right to feel disgusted about that pass. But he'll have to get back into play because River Plate are dashing forward here through their left back, Erbin. Fine tackle, Abramovic. And the game really flowing now. seems to be some doubt about the validity of the ball we've had one previous change in the match but, uh, looks as though we might need a third ball where we go ball number three That's a nice little bit of trickery and it's Boca again with that man Comas here. Ever willing to take people on. Puts in a flat cross this time though. Back it will come from Melja. And really, it's all Boca at the moment. The substitute. Well, that was Stapuzza. And he will know he can do better than that. He'd got a lot of room, actually, as he turned back inside Gordillo. And really should have been closer. Palma now. Boca have certainly contributed to a very fluent game of football here in the River Plate Stadium. And this man, Comas, has been truly outstanding. And the pass there, a shade too long. It's a lovely idea, though. And you can see how the River Plate defence has been caught a couple of times stranded. Anxious moments for their coach.
you see. And a lovely back here from De Silva, setting up Morici maybe for the shot. Left it, and maybe now. No, De Silva's chance. Lovely back flick. Palmer, Palmer, yes! The goal is for Palmer. They were two down. They're now 3-2 ahead. The Boca fans are stunned. The River Plate fans jubilant, and he's nearly, he's all ran for the rip. The back flip, Marese, Da Silva, he did the same, and Palmer kept his cool. Beautifully taken. So Omar Palmer comes back onto the field with a little wry smile. And here we see what happened again. Maresi initially. His back flick there. The shot coming off a defender. Da Silva was aware. And Palmer was extremely aware. Well, it's turning out to be the comeback of the season. And they must be shell-shocked, those Boca Juniors players. 3-2 down now. Having led from two goals from their striker, Rinaldi. They now face defeat in the River Plate Stadium. And yet they've done so much towards this game. And they're still coming forward. It's certainly not over yet. Well, the Boca Juniors coach there must be a saddened man. The famous victory seems to be being snatched away from him. That goal from Palmer coming in within five minutes of the end of the game. And Comas here certainly would not warrant being on a losing side. Oh, and he flashed out with his arm there in a little bit of petulant anger at Palmer. The free kick has been awarded to Boca Juniors. They must really be stunned, but let's see what Kilmus can do. Did he keep the ball in? Oh, the chance was a good one because Gutierrez getting in the shot there must have thought that that ball had perhaps gone out. He didn't have time really to think too much. The free kick down the line, Villarreal. Now let's have a look as Kilmus takes it right to the white line, pulls it back. There was a chalk mark. Gutierrez in a lot of space. Put it over. Two up, three two down. The faces say it all. But they're giving it a final fling. And again, they've got it through for Gutierrez just outside the penalty area. Comas. And they're all over the place in defence at the moment. Appeals for handball and given. Wow, is the drama ever going to end? What a sensational ending to the game we've got here. Comus is cross. Now look for the offending arm. Well, I think maybe Godillo will consider himself a little bit unlucky. But Boca Juniors have got a chance now, right at the death, to snatch a point. He was right there, was referee Lusto. And, well, the Boca Juniors coach has gone through every possible emotion this afternoon. His team two up, hauled back level, then 3-2 down. And now the chance here for Comas to make it 3-3 and round off a quite remarkable game. So Comas, oh dearie me! The situation got to him. He won't sleep tonight. That 
was quite an awful penalty kick. Almost seemed to take it too casually. I guess the goalkeeper moved a mile before he should have done Pompidou. And at the end of it, the whistle had blown almost unnoticed. The Boca Juniors coach is distraught. The side have given everything. They probably deserve to draw on the balance of it. He applauds their effort. Boca Juniors led 2-0. Two goals by Rinaldi. And then in one of the greatest comebacks, perhaps even in their history, River Plate has snatched the victory. Well, I'm not sure about kisses between players and referees, but River Plate have won the day thanks to goals all in the second half from Da Silva, from Corti, and from Omar Palma, four minutes from time. A sensational game here in the River Plate Stadium. The honours go to the home side with a final scoreline of River Plate 3, Boca Juniors 2.